everybody, tis I. I wanted to talk about parental estrangement and if we dig a little bit deeper and we think about what happened years prior to the estrangement taking place, I don't believe it just happens up out of the blue. I think it's a planned situation and the person that estranges has time to execute um, their wants and desires long before it ever happens. I'm going to talk about how sometimes we can see the writing on the wall. And this might have happened to you as well. I was divorced when my daughters were 9 and 10 years old. Everything went, for the most part, smooth. I'm not saying life was perfect, but anyways. Um, I just remember my daughter's father showed up afterwards one Saturday a month per his choosing and so my daughters and I were very close my youngest was always with me and so I just noticed she was um, jealous of my time with other people per se for instance I had a friend I worked with he'd swing by once in a while to say hi and she'd say I don't really want him here it happened numerous times and she kind of started setting the tone and I kind of shift over to allowing my daughters to make rules in the house. And then I remember when we would go to the mall, my youngest daughter would say, well, I'll go, but we're only going to go in my stores and not in your stores. So it ended up being where I was catering to her almost. And I just noticed we were on an even playing field. It, it it set up for quite a challenging situation. And after my first daughter estranged, my youngest daughter and I, there was just a break, a fracture. And I just noticed I was uncomfortable in my house. It was kind of like walking through a landmine. There was really not a lot of cohesiveness. She was back then on MySpace and I would see her post talking stuff about me. Um, mocking me, ridiculing me, and I finally said, this is not cohesive. I'm going to need you to stay with your dad. And so she did. She moved in with her dad, and that was it. That was the beginning of the end for our relationship. But estrangement just doesn't happen. It just doesn't pop up out of the blue. A lot of estranged adult sons and daughters have been planning it for years. It's just the way it is. They have time we do not. They hold all the cards. We do not. It is an unsettling feeling. But I bet if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll notice that there were fractures before the estrangement happened. Even if we don't want to admit and we say, oh, my daughter came from a really good family, you can still see there's a shift where they stopped really caring about our wants, needs, and us overall as people. They didn't value us. They didn't place us on a parental level where we should have been valued and honored in a certain sort of way. We became more like friends or acquaintances. So I just want to say we all learn through this, but through this process, we can learn how to revalue ourselves and raise the bar and we can decide how we want to be treated from this day forward. So I hope this helps and I'll be back.